I'm John Scott, and this is Blues Man Vintage. I work here with my family and my best friends in the world. We build, repair, restore, and sell the finest musical instruments on the planet. If it's got strings, we work on it. If it don't have strings, we'll put them on it. Welcome to our world. Hey, Gabe, what's happening, man? Man, I've got something for you to look at. Okay, what'd you bring me? I've got a customer that brought this in that is wanting to sell it, possibly. Okay. And uh, I don't know quite what it is. I told him I'd bring it and let you check it out. Well, oh, baby. You got a burst. Oh, yeah. This is the Billy F. Gibbons. Artist Series Burst. This is a cool guitar, man. In 1958, Gibson introduced the Sunburst Les Paul, the most iconic guitar in rock and roll history. Jimmy Page, Billy Gibbons, all the greats have owned Sunburst Les Pauls. 1959 is considered their crown jewel of the guitar world. So having one in the shop like this Billy Gibbons replica that so closely replicates the real one is almost like owning the real thing. Just about a quarter million dollars cheaper. Billy owns a guitar called that he calls Pearly Gates. It's a 1959 Les Paul. What this is, is an exact artist replica of what that guitar looks like today. You know, with all of the wear and things that Billy had put on it. Oh yeah. This is a really rare piece. Really? Um, I mean, if it's real and it's authentic, then it's gonna be worth quite a bit of money. Is he looking to sell it? Is he wanting to get it appraised? What's going on? He's looking to sell it, possibly. <laughs> I like to hear that. <laughs> um, man, I got an expert on these things that I want to call. Okay. See what he thinks about it, because I think we could probably, I mean, if it's authentic, which I'm pretty certain it is, we can move this thing probably even today. Let's do it. It's great news. All right, cool. Thanks, thanks for bringing it in. Yeah, Let me give him a call. I'll get him in here later this afternoon. Cool, thanks. We're a pretty knowledgeable crew here at Blues Man Vintage, but occasionally we need to call in an expert. And when that time comes, I call Mark Taylor. Mark is an expert in anything vintage guitars. When the rest of us were running around in high school chasing girls, he was sneaking into the back room with a guitar catalog. He knows his stuff better than anybody. How you doing, hey, Mark, I got something you need to see, man. I got a Billy Gibbons burst that just walked through the door. Get out of here. What number? Is it number one? Yeah, it's number 47 out of 50. Solid. And it's, yeah, it's solid. I mean, I want you to verify it, but it looks to be unplayed. That's I mean, it, guitar, John. it's still got factory gauge, seven gauge strings on it. So, I mean, this yeah, thing, this thing's been untouched. It'll be here. Just come by and take a look at it. Uh, I'll hustle right on over. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, cool. We'll see you, see you in a few. All right, thanks, man. All right, all good. Here at Blues Man, I work with a lot of my family. One of those members is my brother, Matt. And if I'm half stupid, he's definitely the other half. He's a special effects makeup artist, a semi-professional wrestler, and a drunken karaoke king. When you put the two of us together, Lord knows what kind of hijinks are gonna occur.
I'm Mark Taylor. I've been buying, selling, trading vintage guitars, amplifiers, and basses of all sorts since before they were vintage. I've been doing it 30 years, and there's not a guitar in the world that I haven't seen and inspected. I've had my own stores, I've worked for artists, I've worked for collectors, even museums. But right now, I'm happy to say that I've landed here amongst my friends, these man vintage. So, hey, Johnny, what do you got for me? Man, check this thing out. Hold on. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Yep, that's a real pearly right there. Hand sign number 47. But these are the ones everybody wants. These are exact replicas of pearly gates. Every nick, every scratch, every check. This is the most complicated reissue we've ever done. Um, hey, let me check all the case candy. Yeah. All right. This only came with the pearly gates. That's a made out of t-shirt material. Only the Perry Gates cool. has that. Nothing else has it. It's got Billy's signature on it. Let's see what we got here. We got CE tag, manual. Look, there's a reproduction of the original truss rod adjustment that they did in the 50s. Look here. Wow. None of this has been out. Still got the seven gauge snake oil strings, right? Yeah. That's a big deal. The guys that buy these, they don't want them played. All right, and right here's the money maker. This is what tells you. See that? That booklet's only issued with this guitar. This is the real McCoy, John. This is the real one. Number 47, you know, with there being 50, the uh, lower the number, higher the money. So this one's close to the end, but I'm still thinking 25, 25 grand. And I can move this. Like phone calls, man. Yeah, yeah, let me call, because I mean, there's people looking for this guitar. Hey man, let me talk to Gabe real quick. Gabe, hey man, I've got a guy that's really hot on this Billy Gibbons burst. Uh, yeah, I think he's, I think he's really interested. We just gotta make the price right. What, what's your customer gonna have out of it? Oh, it'll take 15. As long as it's hundred dollar bills, huh? I'll make it happen. See you, man. got something you might be interested in. It's a good one. Got all the case candy. It's still wearing the seven gauge strings. You interested? Buys it today. What are you offering me? You got cash? If this guy doesn't take it, I'll take 23. Hey Chuck, spend a buck. Hey, I got a guitar that walked in. Yeah, Gibson Custom Shop, Pearly Gates. Number 47, that's right. I'm asking 25,000, man. I, I understand having a budget, man. I know you gotta make money. The next one's yours, I promise. It'll probably be like number 12. Just me calling back. You got it, man. 23? Consider it sold. I'm on my way over. I'll be there in uh, 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, give me the money ready. You bought it. Good deal, man. See you soon. Bye. Hey, got man. some good news. Sold, 23,000. That quick? That quick, I'm that good, buddy. Sweet. All right, make it so. All right, I gotta grab it and go right now. All right, cool. Matt!